Hi, welcome to D Channel. Today I would like to show you how we are configured Ray EG 2100 gateway for VPN PPTP client. The topology are showing a typically set up environment for customer segment IP, which is 192.168.1.x and subnet will be 255.255.255.0 class C. So VPN PPTP is one of the methods to help the client to access the company server resources from home. Are you ready for setup? Let's go. First of all, we need to make sure we are unable to ping the local office environment IP address, which is 192.168.1.5. Actually, this uh, 192.168.1.5 is a one of a uh, AP IP address in office environment. So the result is showing that you the is a request timeout. So, so we need to log into Region Cloud by this URL cloud.regionnetwork.com, and then please log in by your username and password. Okay, so we need to go into one of our EG. Okay, we can see one of our EG has been online. We start to configure the EG right now by EWAP. So first of all, you need to check what is the WAM interface IP address by this EG. Just copy of the public IP address, record it down. So for the next, we're going to set up the VPN PPTP. First, go to network, VPN, configure, Select HQ, next, branch, next, select one of the L2TP. In this situation, you are unable to see the PPTP, right? But never mind, after that, we are able to configure the PPTP. This part is showing you to how you are configured the IP range address for PPTP client. Now we are going to create the client IP range. This client IP range cannot similar like your house IP address or your office IP address. So we simply give 192.168.40. Starting from IP 100 until 254. Next, so click next. So this is the page to configure the user login, username and password. So we simply give ABCD. Password is ABCD, one, two, three, four. Add into the local devices. So next again. So finish. So to allow to look for the topology, right, you need to have to install the flash. Okay, you can see our HQ EG gateway has been ready for connected. So we can go for table. Okay, let us to configure the PPTP. We go to manage local config. Go to edit. Turn on the PPTP. And save it. Okay, they will show the safe operation succeeded. So 
So for the next, we are going to configure the window VPN PPTP. Go to Start, Setting, VPN. Okay, create a VPN connection using the window built-in feature provided, and then give a name. By the public IP just now, you are copied. Okay, paste to the address, and then we choose PPTP connection. Username will be ABCD. Password will be a, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4. And save it. Now we double check again. We still unable to ping to the office environment. So we try to connect. Unable to connect, right? So actually we are built up for the PPTP connection, right? You need to mesh, mesh a lot of uh, credential authentication. So for this uh, environment for Windows 10, right, they are required the MS chart version 2 to connect. So for our eGPPTP, right, currently they are using PET and chart configuration only. How we are going to configure the uh, MS chart version 2 in our eG? Let me show you now. You need to go back to the eG, okay? Turn on by Web CLI. Go to Web CLI and then show the EG configuration by show run command. You're able to see the template for the PPTP connection, right? They are using PAP and chart. How we are on another MS chart v2 in this PPTP configuration template. So we need to configure it now. First of all, we need to go to configuration mode. Okay. After that, we go to the template PPTP, copy it, paste it. Then we need to go to this command by add on mschart v2. Paste again. So we question mark. They will show you need to configure the mschart version 2 command. So we key in and check the configuration by this command. So this. Okay, you're able to see the PPT authentication support PAP chart, MS chart V2 as well. So at the end, don't forget to save configuration by WR. Okay, let's us to connect again. So you can see we can connect the PPTP successfully. So let us go to check whether we are able to access the office network environment or not. Yes, the AP has respond the ping. Okay, that's a test for the AP, whether we can access the AP or not. Okay. They will be able to show the page of the AP login page. That's all. Thank you. If you like my D channel, please remember to subscribe, comment, and open your notification. Thank you. Bye.